Hi, I'm Ayo Tunde, Baloko and Hazer Channel TV Evening News Recap for May the 27th, 2020. The Presidential Task Force on COVID-19 resumed its daily briefing today with what appears to be some progress report on the search for a cure for the virus. The Secretary to the Government of the Federation and Chairman of the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19, Mr. Boss Mustafa, says three out of the numerous claims of local COVID-19 cure in the country have been deemed worthy of further evaluation. Meanwhile, the Foreign Affairs Minister, Mr. Geoffrey Onyama, informed the gathering that two UK flights will be coming in to evacuate British citizens in the country, but it will not be possible to take advantage of it to evacuate Nigerian citizens in the UK. He added that there will be a change to the existing evacuation procedure where returnees are kept in isolation for 14 days. The President of the African Development Bank, Mr. Akumi Adishino, has reaffirmed his innocence with regards to the allegations which seek to challenge his integrity as well as the reputation of the bank. In a statement released today, Mr. Adishino said he is confident that ultimately the bank will emerge stronger than before and continue to support Africa's development drive. Meanwhile, reports indicate that Mr. Adishino may have to step aside to allow the AFDB conduct fresh probe into the matter as requested by the US government. On the international scene, the French government has banned the use of hydroxychloroquine for the treatment of patients with the COVID-19 virus. The move came after two French advisory bodies and the World Health Organization warned this week that the drug, which is a treatment for rheumatoid arthritis and lupus, has been shown to be potentially dangerous in several studies. And in sports, switch coach Lucien Favre have backed tracked on his comments that he made hinting that he would leave Borussia Dortmund at the end of the season after a defeat by Bayern Munich left his team seven points adrift of the champions in the Bundesliga title race with just six games left. And that's the evening news recap. Don't forget to join us tomorrow for fresh updates. I'm Ayo Sunday Balogun. Many thanks for watching.